I guess I could go to another school. Just leave. It's not worth putting up with this stuff. I don't think I can take it anymore. Stop it! Why don't you just leave me alone? I told you I didn't want to. I don't care about classes at all now. Even math. Nothing makes sense anymore. Whoa. Hey, it is. I don't care if I flunk everything. It really doesn't matter. They're always grabbing and talking dirty like they enjoy making you miserable. I don't see what the big deal is. We were just teasing, just having fun. Why? Why can't they understand? Don't they care about other people? We didn't mean anything by it. It happens to guys too, and it's not funny. guys, a workshop on sexual harassment. <laughs> has it happened to you? Who hasn't it happened to? Whoa, extra credit. I think we should go to this. Oh, I don't know, you guys. Oh, come on. Mark. Maybe it'll help. I mean, I've heard it's pretty good. I gotta get high on your body, baby. Moving in on your body, baby. <laughs> What'd you go do that for? Sexual harassment, old buddy. <laughs> sexual harassment? That's a song. Those are lyrics to a real song. A song? Give me a break. Well, it is a song. I mean, don't you like music? I like music, but that sounds like sexual harassment to me. Music or not. Okay, well, what do you guys think? Music or sexual harassment? Sexual harassment. Music. Rock and roll. Oh, bad thing. Bad music. Actually, you're all probably right. Well, what you listen to is your business, but doing what you did and saying what you said is sexual harassment. Now, why is it sexual harassment? Anyone? Because school is school, and, and rap's rap. I don't know what he means. I mean, you have to go to school, right? Like, it's the law and all, you know? Yeah, and if you have to go to school, then you have the right not to be sexually harassed, right? That's pretty close. Our country has laws against discrimination, and sexual harassment is one form of discrimination. That means everyone has the right to attend school in a safe and non-hostile environment. You have the right, the legal right, to go to school and not be bothered by people grabbing at you, making lewd comments, or spreading rumors. If people harass you sexually, it interferes with your life, with your ability to apply yourself to your schoolwork. Sexual harassment hurts everybody. It humiliates you. It, it makes you mistrust others. It makes you feel powerless and less confident. Like, you know, to everybody. Stop it! Like, there's this one area where these guys hang out all the time. Hey, what's going on? Oh, come on, you coming over? It's a little sex education. I have to walk by there every day. Wait, I got a question. No, it's just... A lot of us girls have to walk by. 
They talk dirty. Well, they rub up against you. Yeah, and, and I got grabbed. Okay, what you have here are several types of sexual harassment. Blocking your past so they can make physical contact as you try to pass by. Sexual touching, lewd remarks, body and hand gestures. What you're talking about is big time sexual harassment. And you're saying that this kind of thing goes on all the time? What have you done about it? Have you reported it? Do you have a comment about this incident? Nah, not really. Are you sure? We're here to explore all the issues. I just think it's all kind of overblown. All right, so guys tease girls. Somebody maybe slap somebody else on the butt. What are you gonna make a federal case out of it every time somebody says boo to a girl? Whatever. God, I don't even know what you're talking about. No, this is a legitimate question. Is it a big deal? Let's vote. Who thinks it's a big deal? Mainly girls raise their hands. How about the guys? It happens to us too. It happened to me when I was in high school. How about you? Any girls or other guys ever harass you? Um, well, I don't know if it'd be sexual harassment, but let's just say, you know, you're hanging out talking to your girlfriend or something, and a group of girls walk by and make fun of you, like, sexually, you know? I know exactly what you mean. If it's unwelcome behavior of a sexual nature, then it's sexual harassment. Whether it's guys harassing girls or girls harassing guys. I see you're still skeptical. What's your name? David. David, you're not convinced that sexual harassment is a big problem? Well, it, it just seems like you're making a big deal out of something that's really not. Okay, David, let me ask you a question. Do you have a sister? What's her name? Courtney. And how old's Courtney, David? Four, 14. So Courtney will attend this high school next year. She will? Well, think about that, David. Hey, hey. I doubt there's anybody who's gone this far in school who hasn't been hassled or put down or bullied sometime in their lives. Think about how you felt when that happened. When it's a sexual thing, it's even more demeaning. And it's just not right. Dysfunctional behavior. That means what? Putting people down? Sort of. Actually, it means abnormal or impaired behavior. Whatever. But they seem to get a kick out of what they're doing. Hello! Hey! Hey, how are you? Maybe they get a rush out of showing off in front of their friends. Or maybe it's a feeling of power or control over others but they aren't considering the consequences of their behavior. What kind of consequences? You can't get kicked out of school or anything, can you? Well, as a matter of fact, you can. You can be suspended or even expelled. You see, the school's not gonna tolerate that type of behavior because the school is responsible for providing a safe environment, an environment for you to learn without being harassed. And there's also a question of criminal conduct. When you touch someone in a sexual manner without their permission, you can be charged with sexual battery, a criminal offense, and the school is legally required to call in the police. If sexual harassment is reported, it will be investigated by the administration. Charges can get filed, and it will end up on the student's record. That's right. It's serious business, people. Legally serious. And it can even affect a person's ability to get a job. You mean, if a company finds out that you've been, like, suspended for sexual harassment or something, they might not hire you? 
That can happen. Sexual harassment laws apply to businesses too, and they're very serious about sexual harassment. If employers think that you might be a troublemaker who's going to cause a lawsuit and cost a ton of money, hey, you're out the door before they even let you in. The legal stuff's a big factor, but you know it all comes down to this. Sexual harassment isn't wrong because it's illegal. It was made illegal because it's wrong. That's right. What we're really talking about here is, what kind of person do you want to be? So what do you say? You can't even ask a girl for a date or what? Nobody's saying you can't interact with the other sex. Hey, we're women and men. Everybody's got hormones. Everybody flirts. It's true. Flirting is fun. People get to know each other. It's, it's part of being human. Flirting? Well, it makes me feel attractive. It feels good. <laughs> you know, it's kind of neat when somebody you like flirts with you. I flirt? Yeah, I mean, well, not blatantly, but it's how you begin a new relationship. Yeah, flirting makes me feel good. It's nice. It can be the start of something really great. Okay, but how do we know the difference? One person may think they're flirting, but the other feels sexually harassed. Well, it makes you feel, like, scared. I don't know. Like they have control over you. They have power over you. It makes me really angry. And it hurts. Sometimes you cry. And you can't help it. It makes me wonder what I did. It's embarrassing. If it happens in front of other people, it's really embarrassing. Well, genuine flirting is pretty obviously different from sexual harassment. Hey, let's demonstrate. Okay, great idea. Want me to be the flirty, or are you going to do the flirty? How about some audience participation? Yeah, I'll bet you we got some good flirts in this audience. Any volunteers? Hey, great, yeah. Come on up here. <clears throat> okay, and your name is? Eric. Eric. Okay, Eric, this is Carla. Carla, Eric. Now, Carla's just hanging out there waiting for a ride or something. You kind of like her, okay? And I just want you to go up to her, start talking to her, just say whatever you'd say if you were, you know, flirting with her. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> um, hi. Oh, hi, Eric. It is Eric, isn't it? Yeah, uh, Eric. <clears throat> I'm Carla. Yeah, I, I know. Oh. Well, I, I like your hair. It's it's really, it's really cool, you know? Oh, wow. Well, thanks. You like it, really? Yeah, it, it makes you look pretty, pretty. Thanks. Um, so maybe, maybe you'd want to go get lunch tomorrow. I eat lunch every day. <laughs> I, I mean, with me. Sure. <laughs> what a flirt. Great job. Give me a hand. How'd that make you feel, Carla? Great. In fact, we have a lunch date for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, this time, Aaron, you be the victim, and Jason and I will be the Harrises. Okay. Okay? All right. In the previous scene where you saw Eric flirt with me and asked me to lunch, you are by lunch tomorrow, aren't you, Eric? <laughs> See, I can flirt with him, too. No harm in that. But now, watch these guys. I can already tell that they're not the gentleman Eric is. Hey, man. Check out Aaron today. Looking fine, mm. so fine. Mm. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. She's looking fine, so fine. Best looking jeans I've seen. You can have the jeans. I'll have what's inside the jeans. <laughs> Could you cut it out? That's enough. Pretty convincing. OK, see the difference? Right. That was sexual harassment. Having guys talk to you like that, it's embarrassing. It's demeaning. <laughs> Take Erica and Carla here. Now that was flirting. And there's a big difference between flirting and sexual harassment. A big difference. Remember, if it's unwelcome behavior of a sexual nature, you have the right to tell the person to cut it out. Yeah. Say stop. And say it as if you really mean it. Keep in mind, it's your choice. If it's the first time, and if it's not serious, 
Maybe you'll want to ignore the incident and walk away. But remember, you have the right to tell them to stop. What if they don't? <laughs> You tell them to stop and they don't. Remember, you have the right to attend school in a non-hostile environment. You have the right to report harassing behavior if you choose to. And your school has the legal responsibility to help you. And it's a good idea to document the incident so you can report it accurately. Write down what happened, when and where, and who did it. Well, if, if I turn somebody in and it, it's a real popular guy or something, and he's got a lot of friends, and some of them might be my friends, then, then everybody will be mad at me, you know? I know exactly what you mean. Nobody wants to report this kind of thing. And it may not be easy. Some people will get mad at you. Here, maybe this will help. But let's demonstrate. I'll be the harasser. Uh, Carla, you be the victim. And you two be my best friends, okay? Hey, Carla. How about you and me get it on after the game tonight, huh? I'm not interested, Jason. Leave me alone. Well, I hear that you put out for the basketball team. Why don't you put out for me? Look, Jason, you might think this is funny, but I think it's sexual harassment. If you don't cut it out, I'm reporting. Well, I'm reporting it. Hey, hey, I got something to report on. <laughs> kind of stuck up, ain't she? She'll never have any friends acting like that. What's wrong with this picture? It's that same dysfunctional behavior we talked about earlier. These characters are supporting the troublemaker. I'm the victim. Not them. Let's pick it up again. We don't have to take it from the top. Okay. Okay, um... Where was I? Oh, yeah. Well, you put out for the basketball team. Why don't you put out for me? It's not cute, Jason. And if you don't cut it out, I'm reporting it. She's right, man. They're a cooler. That's right, Jason. I think you better apologize. I mean, what you're doing is obnoxious, and we don't like it. You get the picture? If someone is being harassed, she or he needs your support. Remember, the victim isn't the problem. The person that's doing the harassing is the problem. If his friends retaliate against you because you're doing what you're supposed to, then that's not only tacky, it's also against school policy. Those people will face the consequences too. matter if you're male or female. Hey, you like my shirt? It's all about respect. They don't have respect for anybody. Baby, what's up? Man, you look good. What you expect you got there, ain't you? They don't have respect for women. What do you think? Uh, maybe a seven? No, no way. Those are too small. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care about other students. Or anything. <laughs> <laughs> what are you hanging out with that faggot? <laughs> they don't care about how anybody else feels. Hey man, check these check out. Them out. Right. Oh, girl, you are fine. Look at her, baby. Whoa, look at these two. Hey, girl, come here, Glass. Oh, look at that. You look so good. You know, you can tell how good you look. Can I just wait for one ride? Get him in. Just ahead. one. Just wait. Just As an individual, it gets down to this. What kind of person do you want to be? 
What kind of message do you want to send out to your fellow students? When you're engaging in sexual harassment, the message you're sending is pretty basic. I don't care about myself and I don't care about you. Is that the kind of person you want to be? So if you see sexual harassment or are victimized by sexual harassment, the first thing you need to do is tell them to stop. Exactly. Just say, stop it. Your behavior is sexual harassment and I don't have to put up with it. But if you tell them to stop and they don't, your next option is to report it. Write down what happens so you can give a full and accurate report. Sexual harassment is a form of violence against another person. And it can affect victims in really serious ways. If you don't take action, if you get harassed and let it continue, you'll suffer. It's typical for a person who's being harassed to get depressed. Your grades can suffer, you avoid people, you spend too much time alone shut up in your room. And harassers keep on doing the same thing. Not only to you, but to other people as well. That message of disrespect they're sending keeps going out, louder and louder. I want to talk about some of this stuff. I didn't, but now I do. It's okay? These things you've all been talking about, well, they happen around here all the time. And they happen to me. They, some of the guys, they, they just won't leave me alone. It's like they've got to be bothering me every time they see me. I've told them to stop more than once, it, and they don't. It hurts. It hurts a lot, and I'm tired of it. I've had it. Whatever it takes to get it stopped, that's what I'm going to do. I just hope my friends stick with me because I've got to report this. And I hope you're right, that the school will stand behind me. I just want this harassment to stop. Hang him? I don't know if they're gonna hang him, but I'll tell you one thing. They wish they hadn't done what they did. I bet they'll think twice now before they harass me or anyone else again, for that matter. Yeah. What about you? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, it's fine. Now. But I wish it hadn't happened. And I wish I didn't have to get them in trouble, but they didn't give me any choice. I mean, I didn't harass them, they did it to me. I'm just glad it's finally. 